Hi, I'm James. In this three-part video, I'm going to show you how to securely access an API, use geolocation to restrict access to an API, implement second factor authentication using one-time password feature in our mobile SDK. You are looking at the mass stock trading application that I built using our mobile SDK. As you can see, it is a simple stock trading application. The stock code field is where we will enter the stock number. The number of shares field is where we will enter the number of shares that we want to buy and sell. And we have two buttons, buy to buy the stock and sell to sell the stock. The status area shows the response of the API call or the error message that we may receive from the backend service. Our stock trading application has the following requirements. Transaction must be secure. The stock trading must be executed in a restricted geographical location of Vancouver. And when the trading shares are over 10,000, which is a large transaction, the second factor authentication using one-time password is required. Let's see how easy it is to make this application. Before we jump into the iOS application, let's take a look at the API definition. The API URL is called slash trade. The trade parameter contains the stock and the shares as a JSON message and is located in the body. The request code parameter is a string that identifies your request and is located in the query parameter. The action parameter is a string that identifies the buy or sell action and is located in the header. For the response, this API returns a JSON object with the request code and the confirmation number. Now, we will show you how to use the mobile SDK to access this API. For this stock trading application, we will be using Mass UI framework for the authentication. So we do not need to do anything for the authentication. And as you can see here in the code, I have created few properties for UI elements to handle the actions in the application. And also down at the bottom, I have created two IB actions for buy the stock and sell the stock. So let's start implementing the method. To start making a request to the backend service, as we did from the previous tutorial on authentication part, we would like to initialize the SDK first. We want to make sure that the flow of the SDK is set to password and initialize the SDK. And in buy stock IB action, we want to make a POST request to the backend service. Making a request to the trade endpoint and fill out the other parameter as nail for now. As we want to make a request with the request code in URL query parameter, let's append randomly generated UUID in the trade endpoint. And for the body section of the request, we want to send the stock code and number of shares as JSON object from the input fields in the application. Let's grab the stock code and number of shares from the input fields and make it as an NS dictionary object in the body section. And for the header section of the request, let's create a NS dictionary object with key as action and value as by. And now, let's handle the result of the request. We want to display an error message if there was any error from the request. So I'll display an error object to the status area. If the error was not found, we want to display the response object of the request to the status area as well. So I'll display response info object into status area. 
So it's all set for making a PI request to the backend service. For cell request, we can simply copy the PI request code into cell.iv action and change the action parameter to cell in the header section. Now we have a PI and cell request in the application and ready for making a secure connection to the backend service. Let's start the application and test the interaction. I'll type in CA for the stock code and 500 for the shares. When I click on Buy button, the default login dialog will automatically pop up as we are using Mass UI framework and was not previously authenticated. So enter username and password. And now we can see the response message from Trade API in the status area. We now have a working trading app. You can see how easily the mobile SDK provides high-level interfaces to securely access APIs and how it handles the underlying security, networking, and OAuth2 protocol. Our next video uses the same stock trading app to show how to add the geolocation feature. Thanks for watching and see you next time.